right, so this is a quick guide on Frostgale Basin. Frostgale Basin is one of the new 24-man instances uh, ever since the Silver Frost uh, Mountains patch was introduced. To unlock it, you have to get to uh, Chapter 33, Calm Before the Storm. And upon completing that, there will be a side quest available within North Reach. And accept that, just follow it, I'll take you to Frontier's Edge, and then you pretty much have uh, this new uh, instance unlocked, just like that. So once you're here, just head to over this notice board, accept these dailies, and I'll open this map and show you guys the area. Uh, it's very small, which is nice, so compared to 24-man uh, Poe and 24-man NSH, it's very easy to do. That's a lot quicker too. Uh, for one of the dailies, you have to kill uh, three bosses. Uh, one of the bosses spawns at the Altar of Ascension, his name is Choo Choo. Uh, another spawns at the Sacrificial Altar, his name is Lump. And then the other one spawns at Snake's Nest, and his name is Chief uh, Barakim. There's also a another daily to kill 100 mobs. Uh, this whole entire area is shared, so it doesn't matter which area you kill the mobs from. And then the last daily is to destroy 10 jars or sculptures, and then rescue 8 people as well. So this right here counts towards your sculpture or jar destroy. And then if you interact with this brazier here, you'll get a torch and you can use that on the ice. And that will free the stone pit slaves. And then in order to spawn Choo Choo, uh, his spawn is uh, timer based, so after a certain amount of time, a stone tablet will appear right here. Just interact with it, it will break, and then Choo Choo will spawn. And I'll show you guys the next area, which is the uh, sac sacrificial altar. So this area too also has uh, people you can rescue, and then you can also it also has these jars you can break. That counts towards your jars and sculptures. And then in order to summon Lump, uh, he's also time based as well. Uh, these spots right here that I have my mouse over, there will be jars that spawn on top of them. So all you have to do is interact with one of the jars. It will cause the jars to break, which will then summon his bodyguards, or I guess his lookouts. Once his lookouts have been defeated, then Lump will spawn. All right, so I'll show you guys the last area, which is Snake's Nest. Just a quick thing to note that there is an achievement here. Uh, it's to kill 1,000 neg uh, Nagas. And the one thing to keep in mind is that it's based on whoever gets the final, uh, final blow to the mobs. So for example, if you're in a party and you're killing these uh, Nagas, then um, their kills will not count towards your achievement. It has to be you killing the Nagas. So in order to spawn Chief Barakin, uh, he's based on an X number of kills. So you just have to kill enough of these Nagas and he'll, he'll cause them to spawn. 
Uh, pulling this device as well. And killing the Naga that spawns from it will also um, contribute towards that as well. And then the last thing I'll cover is Balrock. So for him, um, most people tend to skip him. There's only a uh, dynamic available, so right here. It doesn't give a lot of experience. Uh, it does give you some frost scale essences though, which you can use to roll on the uh, the wheel here. And you do get an outfit from that as well, so I'll show you guys real quick. So it's this outfit right here you can get. And then the Balrog's gaze as well. And then there's also achievement as well to kill Dark Balrog. And I'll show you guys that. So it's right here. There's achievement to kill him once, 10 times, and then 100 times. Uh, in order for Dark Balrock to spawn, you have to kill Balrock. And then there'll be an RG chance for Dark, Dark Balrock to spawn after that. So once you're done, just use this uh, Dragon Pulse right here. It'll take you back to the camp. And then this here is the wheel that you use to, to spin. So you just need a frost scale essence right here. You can spin it. Yeah, typically you get the uh, soul shield pack, but if you're lucky, you'll get the outfit. But yeah, so there you go. So that is the uh, pretty much my quick guide on frost scale basin. I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.